Have you ever wondered how the vibrant country of South Korea came to be? It all started with the Three Kingdoms. Let's step back in time to a period spanning from the 1st century BC to the 7th century AD. This is when the seeds of what would become South Korea were sown. During this time, the Korean peninsula was divided into three kingdoms, Goguryeo, Bakje, and Silla. Each kingdom had its own unique culture, traditions, and territories that now form parts of modern-day South Korea. Goguryeo, the northernmost and largest of the three kingdoms, covered not only part of what is now North Korea, but also areas of Manchuria. Then there was Baekje, situated in the southwest, and Sila, located in the southeast. These kingdoms were more than just geopolitical entities. They were cradles of culture and civilization that have significantly shaped South Korea as we know it today. The Three Kingdoms period was a time of great cultural evolution. Pottery, for instance, was a significant part of everyday life, and each kingdom had its own distinctive style. Goguryeo was known for its sturdy and practical stoneware, while Baekje's pottery was more delicate and ornate. Sila, on the other hand, was famous for its elegant grayish-blue celadon. Architecture from this period was also exceptional. The kingdom's architectural prowess is evident in the remnants of fortress walls, palaces, and tombs that still stand today. And let's not forget about the introduction of Buddhism, which not only shaped the spiritual beliefs of the people, but also greatly influenced their art and architecture. Exploring South Korea is like opening a time capsule. The echoes of the Three Kingdoms period can be heard in the language, seen in the art, tasted in the food, and felt in the traditions. This era laid the groundwork for the vibrant culture and rich history that South Korea proudly showcases today. The Three Kingdoms set the foundation for the country we now know as South Korea, with their influence still visible in the country's culture and landmarks. Fast forward to the 14th century, and we enter the era of the Joseon Dynasty, a period of great change and development. As we journey through this chapter, we encounter a pivotal phase in Korean history, where tradition and innovation wove together to shape the country's cultural identity. The Joseon Dynasty, stretching from the 14th to the 19th century, was a time of profound transformation. A cornerstone of this change was the establishment of Confucianism as the state religion. This wasn't merely a religious shift. It was a societal revolution, influencing the way people thought, behaved, and governed. It promoted virtues such as filial piety, humaneness, and righteousness, ideals that continue to resonate in Korean society today. But the Joseon dynasty's influence extended beyond philosophical thought. It also revolutionized communication with the creation of Hangul, the Korean alphabet. Before Hangul, the Korean language was written using classical Chinese characters, a system that was complex and challenging to learn. The invention of Hangul democratized literacy, making it possible for everyone, regardless of their social status, to read and write. This ingenious alphabet, which we still use today, is a testament to the Joseon dynasty's commitment to education and equality. As we delve deeper into this era, we discover magnificent cultural landmarks that have stood the test of time. Consider the grandeur of Jeongbokgung Palace, a symbol of royal authority and architectural brilliance, or the enchanting beauty of Changdeokgung Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, renowned for its harmony with the natural surroundings. These palaces, among other landmarks, are lovingly preserved, offering us a glimpse into the artistic achievements of the Joseon period. The Joseon Dynasty, with its profound influence, shaped the identity of modern South Korea, from its language to its philosophy. It was a time when the seeds of change were planted, and from these seeds, a vibrant culture blossomed. As we journey through the annals of Korean history, we are continually reminded of the enduring legacy of the Joseon Dynasty, a legacy that continues to enrich the tapestry of South Korea's cultural identity. Moving into the 20th century, South Korea underwent rapid industrialization and urbanization, transforming into the modern country we see today. And at the heart of this transformation is Seoul, the capital and the largest metropolis of South Korea. Seoul is a city that pulses with energy, a vibrant hub that never seems to sleep. It's a place where skyscrapers tower over centuries-old palaces and neon lights bathe ancient streets in an ethereal glow. 
Seoul's growth into a modern metropolis is a testament to the South Korean spirit of innovation and resilience. Take a stroll through the bustling street markets of Seoul, and you'll experience the city's heartbeat. Namdaemun and Myeongdong markets are nerve centers of commerce, where locals and tourists alike flock to explore a myriad of shops selling everything from the latest fashion to traditional Korean artifacts. The air is filled with the tantalizing aroma of street food, from spicy rice cakes to sweet red bean pancakes, offering a sensory feast that is quintessentially Seoul. But Seoul isn't just about the hustle and bustle. Rising above the cityscape is the iconic N Seoul Tower, a beacon of modernity that offers breathtaking panoramic views of the sprawling metropolis. At night, the tower lights up, casting a vibrant glow that reflects Seoul's dynamic spirit. Yet, amidst the modernity, Seoul doesn't forget its roots. Nestled within the city is the historical neighborhood of Bukchon Hanok Village. Here, traditional Korean houses known as Hanoks provide a window into the past. Walking through its narrow alleyways, one can almost hear the whispers of history telling tales of a time gone by. Seoul is more than a city. It's a living, breathing entity that encapsulates the essence of South Korea. It's a place where the old coexists with the new, where tradition meets modernity, and where the past is always present. It's a city that embraces change while cherishing its heritage, a city that dreams of the future while honoring its past. Seoul, a city where the past and the future coexist, embodies the spirit of South Korea. In South Korea, tradition and modernity don't just coexist, they harmonize. Let's explore this unique blend. South Korea's cultural fabric is a rich tapestry woven together from threads of tradition and modernity. One of the most vibrant threads is the Korean traditional dress, or hanbok. Rooted in history, hanbok is a testament to the Korean aesthetic, a blend of simplicity, elegance, and vibrant colors. Today, it's not just a relic of the past, but a living, breathing part of Korean culture. Contemporary designers are reimagining hanbok, bridging the gap between the old and the new and making it accessible and fashionable for the younger generation. Now, let's talk about food, a vital part of any culture. Korean cuisine is an exciting fusion of age-old recipes and contemporary culinary innovation. Traditional dishes like kimchi, a fermented vegetable dish, and bibimbap, a mixed rice bowl, have been staples in Korean households for centuries. But walk down any street in Seoul today, and you'll encounter a bustling food scene teeming with modern adaptations. Taeokbaki, spicy stir-fried rice cakes, is a favorite street food and a fine example of how Korea is redefining its culinary landscape. Finally, we can't talk about modern South Korean culture without mentioning the global phenomena of K-pop and K-drama. These are the rhythmic beats and storytelling arcs that have taken the world by storm. They're more than entertainment, they're a reflection of South Korea's vibrant youth culture and its dynamism. They embody the spirit of modernity, yet they often draw on traditional themes, proving that the old and the new can indeed dance to the same beat. From historical landmarks to contemporary pop culture, South Korea is a fascinating blend of tradition and modernity. South Korea's cultural journey is a testament to its ability to honor its past while embracing the future creating a harmony that is as beautiful as it is unique.